Like, I didn't think he was gonna pass out. I don't know, I shouldn't have babysitted it anyways. Hey guys. Hey Meg, what's up? I got a job. Very nice, where at? The dairy store. Wow, awesome. Super stupid kids. Hey, you got a new job at the dairy store. Oh, that's gonna tell me more. Seriously? I've been waiting to hear back from them for like a month. When did you apply? 20 minutes ago. You applied today and got the job. Okay, Lorelai, calm down. Joelle, do not tell me to calm down. How the hell did you get it? Well, I think the manager knows Richard. She wanted to know why he hadn't called and if she could, you know, get her panties back. So I think she's just keeping me around to make sure he calls. Well, good job. I'm happy for you. Thanks. I start in 20 minutes. Hey, Megan, that's great. Way to take her side, Joelle. What? You always take her side. <sighs> what the hell was that? I don't even know. Anyways, you should probably get going, because you don't want to be late for your first day. Hey, don't you want to hear my news? Maybe later. I need friends my own age. here are such dicks. I told you not to wear that atrocious shit. Can, can you not do that? Sorry. I just vacuumed. So did you have a good trip? Didn't run into too much traffic or anything? Hey, I gotta pee. Where's the bathroom in this shithole? Oh, um, actually our bathroom's broken right now. Uh, farewell present from my old roommate. But uh, down the hall to the to the left there's a... This place is such a dump. It's only temporary. I mean, we'll probably make this guy. Maine! Neil, can I talk to you? Oh, uh, yeah, just don't s Yeah, what's up? My life is not fair. All I wanted was a job, but guess who stole it right out from under my beautifully pedicured feet? Pedicures? Uh, Megan. I mean, no he has can everything. Handle the and chair. A, river, a hot brother, one, and two, now he has a job. And to top it all off, my four, best friend is on her side. I hate my life. Oh. I mean, who does she think she is? Lorelai, you gotta go. Come on, get up, get up, come on. Get up. Excuse me? It's just, I'm having a uh, dinner with some guests from the- What, did you talk to Megan or something? Is this like no, it's, a conspiracy? No, it's just, just, uh, I gotta- Who was that? Who? That girl I was just in here. No, buddy, just, uh, just a random girl. So, are girls just randomly hot around here? Yeah, I mean, you don't have hot girls at all. <sighs> Whatever. Hey girl, how's the first day of work? Oh, you know, went in, did some work, got fired, came home. Got fired? Yeah, but it was your first day. How was I supposed to know I'm not allowed to create a sprinkle sprinkler and construct this taste explosion in my mouth. I feel like that one should have been self-explanatory. Whatever. I'll show them. I'll make my own ice cream stand. I'll call it... Megan's Milkshakes. <laughs> yeah, that'll draw a crowd. What do you want anyway? I don't know. Lorelai's still mad. Oh my god, why is she still pissed at you? I mean, she shouldn't be mad at any of us. It's not my fault some milkshake brought my brother to the yard and that... 
Milkshake makes milkshakes at the place I bought a milkshake earlier. The fact that I just understood that is beyond me. Just give her time, she'll cool off. You have a message. You sure about that? I'm watching High School Musical without you. And you think that means that she's... That was our movie. Just try talking to her. I've got to work on schematics for my new ice cream stand. Girl, you cannot be serious. Just get another job. Quitters never win, Joelle. You should know that after spending that whole week on the phone trying to win those High School Musical on Ice tickets. Greatest bill ever. Okay, point taken. Live your dream. I intend to. I'm off to go deal with the wrath of Lorelai. Good luck with that. Yeah, appreciate it. And good luck with your ice cream milkshake thing. Gonna need more room in the yard for all those boys. <laughs> How did you know? Oh, that is so nice. No, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> so my boss calls me into his office for some pretty big news. And I was nervous at first, like I thought I was gonna get fired, but who would fire me? Look at this face. Or don't. But you wanna hear my news, huh? News in a small pond is big news. And news in a big pond is small news. Yeah, I'll need to see some ID. Mm. My essence cannot be contained to a card. Okay, you'll need to leave. Mm. Hey, Megan. Not doing homework already, are we? You know I don't actually do homework. I wanted to ask you a flavor. I mean, favor. I will not do it, Sonny, and share with you again. Ever. I know. I know. I... Well, setting up my own shop hasn't exactly been working out how I planned, and, um, I was wondering if I could set up my whole ice cream stand here. Let me get this straight. You want to set up an ice cream stand here, in the bar. That's the general idea. All right, I'll tell you what I can do for you now, Megan. I, uh, I am the new manager of this establishment, and therefore I have the authority to add businesses to my business to make it profitable. I will let you set up shop here under two conditions. The first one, you pay me $20 a month. The second one is you also pay me 10% of your overall earnings. What do you say? As CEO of Megan's Milkshakes International, I do hereby accept your offer. Nikki O'Toole's and Megan's Milkshakes will make a fine partnership indeed. I have one more condition. for your RA training program. I know, it's crazy. I, I miss everyone so much. People here don't really appreciate my pamphlets as much as I thought they would. I have so much extra. Uh, but no worries, your new RA, Thomas, should have everything under control until I get back. Have you met him? Um, no, not yet. But maybe he can help me recycle my wine coolers. Anyways, wait, wait, I want to talk wine to you coolers? about Joelle. And In the it's dorms? Just, Megan got the job I wanted, and Joelle just sided with her. No, 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 I no. Mean... Rewind and pause. You're not drinking in the dorms, are you? Mm. What? Oh, no, that's not the point. No, no, as your RA, I'm here to ensure God, that... God, I have a problem here! You're right. I'll have Thomas give you another rundown on dorm rules later. But maybe you and Joel just need a break from each other. Like me and Dick. Like me and Dave. Like Tom and Jerry, or Mike and Ike, or Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart. Wait. I'm confused. Maybe you guys are spending too much time together, you know? No, no, I get that part, but what do you mean about our Pat's taking a break from Case 2? I mean, Kristen Stewart cheated on Rob. What? 
You didn't know? Love isn't real! Well, just keep me updated on the situation. I'm always here to assist my residues. Hey, bartender. Hey, Neil. <laughs> Who's the bitch? Where is this bitch? Right there. I see you there. got a new sign. That's really... What, what are the congrats for? What? Oh, this, yeah. I got promoted to manager. Haven't you husband manager? No, remember the guy passed out at table 14? Oh, guy who smelled like cabbage? Yeah, technically he was the manager. Huh. All this time, I thought he was your father. You trust me, you would, uh, you would know if it was my father. He always had an eye patch. He's constantly hammered. Had a hammer. I, anyway, any, do you, do you need anything? Oh, uh, no, we were just wondering if you've seen Megan. You're in <laughs> for a treat. She's right over there. Oh. Get a treat. Hey. Hey, Neil. I uh, was just making sure the ice cream's safe. Safe? Yeah, you know, for like common folk and stuff. Put my life on the line. Oh, that's really brave of you, Megan. Hey, um, so we just heard that you had this little uh, ice cream, ice cream going on. So we came to see how it's going. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm my own boss, and stuff. Uh, who's the dirtbag? Sorry, I forgot to introduce you to Chad. This is Megan. Megan Chad. It's so beautiful. Oh, just ignore him. He, he's not used to attractive women. He's from you, then. So, uh, how do you two know each other? Oh, uh, we met at a hockey card trading convention where we just traded hockey cards, and he's got a great collection, you should see it. He's got like a... 50,000. Anyway, we're in a hurry. Okay, so what can I get you guys? Um, I will have a scoop of Miss Trax in a cone, please. Okay. Um, and for you? I'll have a milkshake. Okay, what kind? Yours. Uh, okay, I think we should probably just get going. I'm sorry, Megan, come on. Really sorry. No ice cream. Nature's cure against creepy pickup artists. Hey. Hey. I'm glad you came by. I live here? I know, I just mean... Under these circumstances. What circumstances? Joel, we need to talk. About what exactly? About our relationship. Okay, let's hear it. Well, these past few years have been really great. We've had some really good times. Like when we busted the boys for sneaking into the girls' bathroom. Yeah. Or when we put Jello in the RA shoes before his tennis practice. We call them Jigglyfoot, right? See, Joel, these are the times I want to hold on to. Especially now with what I'm about to say. Joel, I think we need a break. Okay. I've been kind of thinking along the same line. I need some space. We spend so much time together, we've gotten too comfortable. I know. It's always Lorelai and Joel. Never just Lorelai. I need to be my own person. Please. Don't cry. I'm not. We're always going to be be- Wait. Why aren't you crying? Isn't this devastating news? I mean, I don't want it to be this way, but I understand. You do? Yeah. Well, my soaps did absolutely nothing to prepare me for this reaction. Lorelai, we're juniors now. We gotta start doing our own thing. There's nothing wrong with that. And if you need some space, I totally get it. Well- you're sure you're okay? I'll be fine. I mean, I can stay somewhere else for a while. Well... I guess this is it. Yep. I'm going now. I can't stand to stay here any longer and... 
watch you grieve. We'll always have Zephron. Poor thing. She's totally heartbroken. Biscuits! Biscuits? Oh, thank you. What's wrong? Everything! Hey, what's going on out here? I just had a fight with my best friend. She kicked me out, and now I have no place to go. We can't just leave her out here. She can stay with us. It'll be fine, I promise. Are you sure this isn't breaking any of the rules? I, I don't want to get in trouble my first week here, Rob. Don't worry. It'll be fine, I promise. Break. Would you like to stay with us? Oh my gosh, really? I'll be the best roommate ever. I'm Lorelai Hampton. I'm Rob Young. Uh, Eugene Parker. This is the beginning of a beautiful roommate ship. Good evening. What's up? I... Oh. What's the matter, Lorelai? I did it. Oh. Well, by the looks of it, it wasn't that good. Of course it wasn't good. It was the hardest thing I've ever done. Oh my. The hardest? Oh dear, I, I think this is out of my advising zone. I'm no expert on um, female matters like this. Well, Daisy might not completely agree, but that's besides the point. I just, I didn't know what to do. I was so unprepared. It all came out at once, and there was no stopping it. Oh, okay, okay, wow, wow. But that's enough. That, this is nothing to talk about. Uh, I don't care to hear about your sex life. I'm your RA for... Sex God. life? What the hell are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm talking about my I need space talk with Joelle. Oh, uh, so was I. I was just relating it to your other first-time thing. You know, there's that... You're super nervous. There's that you, awkwardness. You don't know what to say afterwards. There's that pang of loneliness stays with you. I know exactly what I was talking about. I was just killing two birds with one stone. Good save. Yeah. So anyways, the Joelle thing, what happened? It was awful. There was no comforting her. It was worse than the time she found out she was allergic to someday. Oh, the Justin Bieber perfume? Yeah. Oh, wait. How do you know about that? Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, was it really that bad? Where is she now? She's at our place. I'm staying with some guys. No. You're in the rebound phase. Someone's at the door. I, I gotta get it. My roommates are at a freshman thing. One for the younger guys, huh? Nice. Do yourself a favor, though. Go have some fun tonight. Go to Nikki O'Toole's. Meet up with the whole gang. You know what? You're right. I deserve to have some fun. Thanks. I still got it. Hi, I'm Thomas, your new RA. I heard you seem to be going through some distress, and I came down here to handle the situation. Oh, well, thanks, but I'm okay. Actually, never better. Now I'm ready to go out and live life. Oh, thank God. I thought I was going to have to deal with something really emotional. Well, you don't. Have a good one. I must be better at this than I thought. Your sight of me made her day better. Yeah, it's on the table now. Yes. Yeah, no. Neil, I'm fine. I just want a drink. Is that too much to ask? No, well, that's fine. That's fine. Here. Could you get her a shot? You know I don't do that till 11, and it's like 10.30. Have you no decency? Look at her! Okay, yeah, get the picture. Hey, bro. You want to make me one? No. Here. Okay, Neil, what happened? Lori Lai says they need a break. A break? What are they, a middle school couple? Hey, this is serious. Look at her. She's heartbroken. Clearly. <laughs> Cheers to the 
Iron um, for the love of Joel, you can't shoot that. Hello, beautiful. Can I get you a drink? No thanks, because I don't feel like getting roofy tonight. Is it because you're intimidated by my combination of intelligence, good looks? Because you're not the first. And it won't be the last. Okay, I haven't even had anything to drink and I want to puke. Look, Chad, I'm sure you're a nice, decent guy, but I'm just not interested. Okay, so seriously, what's going on? Well, according to Joelle, Lorelai says she needs space. That's like the worst excuse in the book. That's like saying, hey, so I really don't want to hang out with you anymore, so get the F away from me, you clingy biatch. Do you have experience with this phrase? That's not important. Where'd you get that? Keep talking. Okay, so... Chad, that's not yours. It's never stopped us before. Remember we used to sneak shots out of the arbor back in high school? I thought that you didn't meet until a couple of years ago at a hockey card convention. Well, we, uh, we had a... Isn't the Arbory Bar in Ann Arbor? Technically, but it's such a common word. Can you really, uh... Neil, say it ain't so. You never told your friends about your past? No, Chad, please, we talked about this, don't... Neil used to go to Michigan! Dear God, man, why? Yeah, Neil surprised quite a few people in on that transfer. It's true. I was born and raised in Ann Arbor. Since kindergarten, though, has taught us Hail to the Victors. I went to all the games with my family. You betrayed us all. But no, no, I've changed. I'm, I'm different. I, when I took out that ad last year, I wanted to start fresh. I wanted to forget the past. So, why didn't you ever tell us? I was ashamed. Ashamed, bro? To go to U of M? You should be ashamed to go to this dump. Maze in blue. Hell to the victors. Bell out. The bar seems so much cleaner now. Part of my job now is getting rid of scum. <laughs> I get it! Scum has you and M in it! <laughs> U of M has scum in it. And U of M has scum in it! <laughs> oh. These are my new friends. This is Rob. <clears throat> and that one's Eugene. See, look at them, my new friends. Yeah, we'll take her home. Come on, Lorelai. Aren't you gonna go after her? Not this time. <laughs>